So not all bad reviews are just haters hating. Before you let negative feedback stop you from writing, you should try your best to learn from it. And while that's often easier said than done, here are a few things to keep in mind when dealing with bad book reviews. First thing is you should focus on the positive. It's easy to let a bad review get you down. Even one negative comment can overshadow all of the good reviews that you've gotten. Some people just naturally have a hard time focusing on the positive, but when it comes to dealing with a bad review, it's really the best thing you can do for yourself. If you don't, then you can become demoralized and lose your confidence as an author. Both your mental health and your creativity are gonna suffer. So if you find yourself dwelling on a bad review, it is helpful to go back and read some good ones. And I'm not saying that you should dismiss all constructive criticism and just ignore every review that you get that isn't positive. There are things to be learned from them, but it is a whole lot easier to take criticism when you know you've left at least a few readers satisfied. Okay, and second thing to keep in mind is that we all have opinions. We're all entitled to an opinion. And I know that sounds so obvious, but it's really easy to forget when you go on the defensive. With all of the blood, sweat, and tears you put into your novel, it's understandable that you're going to want to defend it and dismiss negative comments as unfair to you in some way. Like, how dare you? I put in all of this work. Therefore, you should love it or say nothing. Sorry, that's just not the case. Just because you put in that work doesn't mean a reader is obligated to think positively of it. Go even further and think about the fact that these readers probably paid money to read your book. Of course, there's always free book promos and stuff like that. But the majority of the people who are reading your work probably paid for it. Even if they didn't pay for it, they definitely spent time reading it. So whether they were paying in dollars or hours, it doesn't matter. They have a right to say something about it. That means they're also entitled to tell you if they think you wasted their time or money. So just try to remember they're not always spewing hate. Sometimes it's just a customer dissatisfied with the product. It's really nothing personal. Okay, third thing to keep in mind, please don't be a hypocrite. A little self-awareness is going to go a long way when it comes to dealing with a bad review. There's usually a certain degree of hypocrisy involved when you get defensive, though in the moment you're blind to it. The fact is, you've probably criticized other people too. You might have even done more than just criticize their work. You might have even just called it totally worthless, just a handful of pages that are better used as toilet paper than reading material. We've all cursed others. Even if you didn't say it out loud, you've thought it. So who are you to judge a reader for being harsh when you've probably been just as brutal? Again, even if you didn't say it aloud. Don't be a hypocrite when you react to a negative review. Just remember, you've probably said some nasty things too. Fourth thing you should do is take constructive criticism when you can. So I've told you what to keep in mind when dealing with a negative review, but not necessarily what you should do proactively. The most important thing you can actually do is take constructive criticism when you can. While you shouldn't let bad reviews destroy your confidence, you shouldn't dismiss them entirely either. A lot of these reviews will contain feedback that can help you grow as a writer. Even more so, learning to take constructive criticism like that will help you grow as a human being. So even if the reader didn't give too many specifics as to why they thought your book was lackluster, you should think about what elements of your writing might have caused them to react in that way. If they do specify what they thought was lacking, that's even better. But if you've got multiple bad reviews, you should go through them, identify any common themes, and then consider how you can apply them to your next novel. It's better to accept feedback and improve over time than it is to just ignore it and let your writing stagnate. And the fifth thing that you should do is just accept human nature. There are times where this criticism really isn't constructive. Sometimes people are just assholes. And while most of us are able to keep things civil, it's in our human nature to be occasionally nasty, aggressive, or rude. I'm not excusing that behavior, but you need to understand that people are gonna people. It is no secret that the internet is full of trolls, and the moment you decided to display your work online, you opened yourself up to that kind of ugliness. Trolls are everywhere, even among readers. So it's important to know the difference between legitimate criticism and just blatant insults. If the negative review doesn't say what left the reader or dissatisfied and instead is just vague and kind of general or has like ad hominem attacks against you as an author, you can probably ignore it. It's ultimately meaningless because it doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell other readers anything. It's just kind of stupid. However, if they do give a reason as to why they disliked your novel, then you should really consider what they're saying. That's when there might be something to it. It's probably not just some asshole trolling online. Anyway, my point is that no book always gets five stars. So while there's times where her hate haters are going to hate. Most of the time, there's something to be learned from these bad reviews. All books are going to get them. An author I know said to me, if you don't have any bad reviews, then you don't have enough reviews yet. And that is so true. But anyway, when you do eventually get that negative review, don't let it destroy your confidence. Try to learn from it if it gives you anything to work with. If it doesn't, uh, that's just life. And I know it's easier said than done when you say to ignore this kind of thing and stay positive, but you really have no other option. If you found this video interesting or helpful,
helpful, please like and subscribe. Follow me on social media. And as always, thank you for watching. God bless.